Hello everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome back. Today I have an updated studio tour. If you saw my last video, I had filmed that back in last October. Cluttered. I've, I don't think I've ever had it that clean since then, but it was right before my mom came and we were going to have company. Uh, but it wasn't quite functional enough for me. So I've made some changes. We moved in this home a year ago and I had never had a room of my own before. So it's been incredibly fun. I have many hobbies that I pack all in this room. I am a planner, a crafter, an artist. Uh, I love journaling. They all combine together beautifully, so I love to do all of those things. I'm going to do a whole tour again. I'm just going to share just some, um, just a few of the spots. So this is now my working table where I do my planning and working. It's also where I keep any items. I'm often sent items for review, and so I keep those ready to go. And then over here is where my art supplies are, and we'll go a little closer there in a minute. And then I do still have the buffet because it wouldn't, <laughs> I still can't fit it in my dining room. It is a very sturdy cabinet. I have moved all of the wood colored pencil cases that I was so lucky to get on clearance, but I'm too afraid that they're going to get damaged by the sunlight. I noticed that happened with my Sennelier set. Um, in the sunlight, they, get, they can get discolored. So I've moved them in the case to hopefully protect them. I've also moved my fountain pen inks down below because I've just used bamboo storage drawers to organize them. That's not good for them to be in direct sunlight. So I was having to cover them with towels all the time. That got really old really fast. This is my main working area now. Flexi Spot reached out to me last year. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try that. There's many things I really do love about this desk that you can, hopefully you can get some inspiration whether you use this desk or another desk. I'm still really loving this grid system for my watercolors, especially now that I'm painting here. I love having most of my, my most used colors right here and I can just take uh, I can easily take them out, use just a little dollop, and then put them back, and then I'm not wasting any. I've put all of my acrylic inks up here for now, so I love having them right there, right there, easy to grab. And that's pretty much what I've done. I've taken all the things I reach for all the time, placed them right here by my desk. So I have my regular watercolors over here that I've placed in pretty palettes that I've, most of them I've just got off Amazon. And then I have my metallic paints from Schmincke, from Fine Tech, Clearo. Um, did you guys see Clearo has these new beautiful palettes? I absolutely love those. Um, and well, as well as Van Gogh, keeping those really close to my desk so I can use them often. My oil sticks and my palettes, as well as my colored pen some of my colored pencils. And then over here I have my my light pad that. I can plug in really easily to the USB port on the desk, all of my most used and favorite papers and sketchbooks. I also have my travels notebooks that I love, that I use all the time, and then my most used uh, ink brushes and my pencil sharpener I'm using the most right now is the Aphmat because it's rechargeable, so that's very handy. But then again, when I need it, I can plug it right into the desk. I have some old palettes that I need to use because I don't want to waste a drop of paint. And then my favorite watercolor medias. Right here, I'm still using this large um, palette that was my favorite last year uh, with all of my Schmincke super granulating colors. I'm still loving that and I've just added some mixing colors. I just keep it on a Lazy Susan, and but I love having it right here easy to grab, easy to reach everything I need, and yeah, I'm really still loving that. I have some of my favorite colored pencils and my most reached for items, just really easy to grab. Again, I have it on the Lazy Susan because it's easy to move it out of the way. So many of my uh, favorite, uh, current favorite fountain pen inks and a lot of these are just so pretty I can't quite put them away yet. Um, really just my most reached for items so that I can keep not very much hair on the desk. And for me, that makes it easier for me to create more if I have kind of less visual clutter. So this is the FlexiSpot Comar all-in-one standing desk. This is the EW8 model. 
Of course, I will have this linked below in the description box along with a coupon code that you guys are welcome to use if you want to check this item out. I'm going to show you that this desk really does have a lot of really cool features. Uh, first of being that there is a wonderful drawer. It does accommodate a watercolor palettes. I had it first filled with watercolor palettes, but then I thought it'd be better to keep things that I reach for often that I don't have room for anywhere else. My glass dip pens. I reach for these often, but they're glass, and so I'm always afraid about having them in a cup, and I don't want their tips to get damaged. So having them in here is just perfect. And then I also have my Obelique. All these are too long to fit in where I keep the rest of my fountain pens, but they fit perfect in here. I'm actually using the uh, the top section from my Derwent Lightfast pencils. I found that the, the space wasn't being utilized like I liked, so I switched them around because this part was just holding their catalog which was beautiful, but after I went through it, you know, I didn't really need it there anymore, so it was a waste of space. So I decided to just use this for my drawer, and it's perfect because it's got that faux velvet texture that is going to keep all of my beautiful things being, from being scratched. Um, so yeah, this is all full of just um, either items I reach for often, or they're too long to go in the regular storage. I also have taken these little pallets and stored all these USB chargers. And then I reach for these 15 mil tubes too often to keep them in their beautiful box. I found it a great place to store my electric cords. This is for my pencil sharpener. I can easily take it out and then plug my pencil sharpener whenever I need to. And that way, even when I open my drawer, it's pretty. I love that the drawer is made of metal. Honestly, what I liked most is that this top section came put together. This desk was easy to assemble. There's three simple steps and I was able to do it all by myself. It took me about 15 minutes. I was also able to carry the box in by myself. The desk has lots of functions that are very user friendly. It has up and down and you can just push it and make it go wherever you want. It has preset buttons. So I have it set for my, I just have to push one button and then it's gonna automatically go down to my seated position with my desk chair. And then my second preset button is going to raise it. My second is the standing. See how cool that is? It's going to take it right to where I need it. If I want to do completely standing up and use my, my little tabletop easel. Jesus sent me a long time ago and I really hadn't seen the benefit of it until now. And so I tried it with pastels and it was a lot of fun. And it might make, for me, it might make doing messy things easier. You know, I can't wait to play with this more. I've only had this for two weeks. So I can't wait to play with this more. But right now, this is actually the second position I'm using the most. That is super, I never realized standing up kind of gets your creative juices going. So it has some, it has the up and down arrows that you can adjust it to any to any height you like. It can go down really low or it can go up very high. I don't think I can even raise it all the way with my paint shelves um, there. It also has the preset buttons. It has the USB cords. It has the, um, if you have the new laptops that plug into that, I think the Apple Watch does too. And then the child safety lock. I have not played with that. My youngest is 16 now, so I would have loved, I can't imagine how much useful this would have been if I would have had small children because I would have loved being able to put it high enough where no little hands could be grabbing any of my inks or any of my things really. So I think that's going to be very useful if you have small children or if you have grandchildren. And then for my third position is actually what I'm finding I use the most, surprisingly, and that is a counter height. How down there? It's all open. This is for my dog. <laughs> you guys have seen Bella. Bella loves being right at my feet. And when I stand there or I sit there, she actually has room to get there with me. And my other table, she could not. These USB ports are perfect for when I want to draw. I can just easily take my iPad, plug it in. I'm ready to go. I have my photos. But so it makes it really handy to have this USB port um, right here. 
I don't have to bend over. I don't have to, I don't have to get Bella, my dog, out of my way to get up and go plug something in. And I can just um, scroll through. We've been having these Sandy Hill cranes in our backyard, um, I think since about October or November. And then if I, um, they wouldn't hold still. <laughs> so I can also just use a Google image and go ahead and paint something. And it's just so convenient. So I would love to hear what you would use this desk for. Um, a lot of art supplies really don't like to be in direct light. So now I always just put artwork or swatches or something in front of them. And that's what I was doing before too. But it actually gets really old to have to kind of cover everything that's not meant to be in direct light. So make sure you're paying attention for that because you've spent a lot of money on these supplies. You don't want them to get ruined. So I hope I gave you a little bit of inspiration today. Thank FlexiSpot for sending this to me. And thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.